Welcome to part two of the tutorial. Um, in this one, we are going to finish the walls and the floor. So let's get right at it. We'll go into the assembly room. Get back into our camera one view. Okay, let's start with the walls. What we do is we create a new shader. And we're just going to name that walls. Let's go ahead and apply that. Then we go into the shader room. Create a new shader. Sure, we can do that. All right. Let's just swing this around so we get a better look at the wall as we work on it. What we're going to do on this wall, we're going to just make it basic color to start with, and that's going to be white. Oh, it came up gray. Sorry. All right. So we're going to end up with white. Okay. Then we're going to use a bump map. We're going to use a texture map. For that, I'm going to use a close-up of asphalt. And these texture maps I'm using come from CG Textures, which is, uh, you have to Google it. It's a great source of textures of all kinds. Anyway, now you can see we have that texture on the wall with the white. So it kind of lightens it up a little bit. But if you have a look at it, if we render that out, it's going to be too dark. It's just way too big, too dark, just not really working the way we want it to work, although we're getting close. So, what we need to do, go back into the shader room, instead of just using the texture map, we're going to use an operator, we'll use a mixer. What we're going to do is we're going to mix it with a color, and the color doesn't matter whatsoever. The red will not show up, blue, whatever color you put in there is not going to show up. All that's going to do is just soften the texture. So. For the blender itself, we're going to need to just use a value. So I'm going to crank the value up to about, oh, I'm say about 90. So that softened that whole wall up. Now when we render that out, you can see, gives you a nice kind of a shiny um, plaster wall texture. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back in here. That's going to be called Walls 1, because we started it. That was a new master. So let's go ahead and render that so we have both the walls. Now you can see it even better. See how nice that looks? looks very natural. Okay, with that done, we can go ahead and do the floor. So what I'm going to do, I'll just, since we have that one there, I'll just change that to floor. Drop that on the floor. And we'll go up here. All right. Now for the floor, for the color, we're going to actually use a texture map. Like I said, this comes from CG Textures. These are small tiles. Do that. Now this is going to be quite large when we render it. Let's see, I think it's. It's bigger than I really want it to be. So what I'm going to do, let me get rid of that so you can see it better. What I'm going to do is tile that. So if I tile that two by two, just so we can see it. There we go. Render that. Yeah, it's a much better size. Now this is you know, a picture of a floor, and it kind of looks like a picture. It's got, you know, some definition, but we can make that a lot better. We'll go back into our shader. What we're going to do, we're going to add a normal map of that floor. Now, this I did on, um, or using Photoshop 7 and the NVIDIA uh, filter, which is available as a plug-in. And it's it's free of charge if you Google it if you don't have it already. But normal maps are the way to go. Get that going. We need to tile that two by two also so everything lines up correctly. And then zoom in a little bit. You'll see now we're getting a real nice bump texture on there. 
see that. And then we have also better definition depth in the grout line, but it's still not quite what I'm after. Because after all, this is ceramic tile, and it's, it should have a sheen to it, which we're not seeing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back one more time. I'm going to go into reflection. And the control you want to use in here, and really this is the one that does about everything, is the shader. And bring that up to about oh, 45%. See how that lightened that up? Well, you render that out now. Yeah, now you've got that natural floor look. See, we have the reflection here. See that real subtle reflection right there? With the wall reflected in there. It's a very natural look. Now the last thing I'm going to do, and I mentioned this at the end of the first tutorial, is just play with this bottle just a tiny bit more. So go back into the shader, or into the uh, assembly room. Let's double click on the glass. And look at the bottle itself. I'm just going to add a simple bump to that. And that's going to be, uh, I'm going to use a pattern function for my bump. And that's going to be scan lines. Now right now they're set at vertical, and you could leave it at that, it gives you an interesting effect. But what we, what I'm going to do is, I mean it was set at horizontal. Let's set that around 20. Look at this. Let's see what we've got going here. There we go. Gave it a nice little texture, so it's more of a decanter look. Gives it a, a very, very uh, realistic glass effect on that. So, well, that's it for the second part of the tutorial. I hope you learned something, and uh, happy modeling.